Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Amori. In the last episode, we had to uh, pay, pay the toll, go to the toll booths and stuff, and then he got a wheel thingy that made my uh, price of crossing really, really high. So I had to go all the way around and stuff, and who knows what will happen next, so let's do this. All right. Wow, just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have liked it here. Basil. He would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. Even when he's upset, he always manages to smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. But that changes, but that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to remember him. Basil's our friend, and more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've been apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him, as long as we have Amori to keep us on track. All this time, Basil has been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Then we're all together again. We should all give him a big old hug. Ah, it's nice to see you two getting so long, getting along so well for a change. I can hug the both of you right now. Huh? Me and Kel? Get along? What are you talking about, Hero? Stop being weird. Huh. Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together to... No, it doesn't say on the map. Ooh. It's probably one of those teleport mazes. Everyone loves Lowe's. Ooh, but melon. Nice. Got some life jam. What's this? Sunshine brighter when she was here. Lots of swimming. How long is this path? What's over here? I don't know if there's like some sort of treasure over here somewhere. 
No, it's just uh, another exit. Let's just let's go here then. Hmm. Whoa. Where is this place? Okay, up the ladder we go. And up this ladder we go. Nothing else but go up here. Looks like we're at the end of his mouth. Oh, picnic basket. How's our own stats? Perfect. Oh, it's deeper well. It's a whale. Well, hello there, friends. The name's Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, Mr. Hum hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Sorry for bothering you. No, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you're the second group to visit me today. The first one was just a girl. A very loud girl with big red bow. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm. Where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. That's a joke. Is it? She is inside me, you know. She's inside you? Why, yes. She is visiting my guests. For I am also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together, chatting and chuckling. It's so much fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they are even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies. The first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. Yeah. Looks like we're going inside a whale. Humphrey. Whoa, Humphrey's belly is huge. I'm sure it's easy to get lost in here. I bet I can I bet if I yell I can make an echo. Echo, echo, echo. Ah, where did you come from? Well come to my lair. Are you surprised to see me? I am always here. I am inside me and all around you. I'm everywhere. Or am I just here? Wow, that's so cool, Humphrey. Wish I can do that. It's kind of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Hmm. There are so many ways to go. Where do we even start? Left, right, up, around, doesn't matter. It's all forward, isn't it? Just pick one, it's easy. Hmm. Yep, let's go left first. Hold on, I gotta do something very, very quickly. Let's see. Hold on. Almost done. I can't find it. Alright. I am back. 
kind of. Alright, now I'm back. Sorry about that. I was recalibrating a bunch of other things. But everything seems to be better now, so... What kind of, bell what kind of whale is this? Have all this technology. Oh, hello, Marina. Are you here to seal my things again? Well, not this time. I prepared something special for you today. As you know, I am a busy, very busy person. But alas, you are my sister. I will grant you access to my room. If you are able to solve my little gift. Hope to see you soon, darling. If you're still alive, that is. Oh no, I hate this place. This place is this this place sucks. That's all I have to say about it. Okay. Luckily I've written all the solutions down from this place, so it shouldn't take long. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. So we'll start with the blue puzzle, because it's the easiest one. Thinking. Thinking to yourself, wow sis, this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell ya. It may be recommended to set up picnics at normal places in, like in forests or campsites, but where's the fun in that? What if I wanted to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Explain your expand your mind, Amori. I need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Aren't you guys afraid of the bomb is going to explode? Just relax, Aubrey. We got this. This room is full of the smartest people I know. That doesn't make me feel better at all. The lady on the screen said she'll set up for her sister, right? She wouldn't let it explode on her sister. I don't know, Cal. Aubrey's right. We're unfamiliar territory. It's better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mary? Huh? Oh, I think you should do what your heart tells you. Thanks, Mary. I can always count on you. You're welcome. Okay, blue puzzle. Dang it, Molly. Everything worked so perfectly this morning.
<sighs> what do I even do? I, I didn't. I, I didn't think I wrote this one down. There, visitors. I've been leading on a experiment on Humphrey through Humphrey's movement. You just, come, you just came in time to watch us conduct our final test. Are you ready, gang? Let's do what I can practice. place. This is going to be a long episode, guys. I'm sorry about this. I had all the puzzle solutions down to a T, but now they're not working. I know the puzzle solution, it's this. There. I had you all fooled. Hmm. 
Okay, the blue puzzle is done. Next one I'm going to do is the green one. It's boom. Because I've written all of this down. Now the red one, it's extremely hard to explain the red one. So I'll just give you the answer for this one. It is very confusing. Okay, red puzzle. This is a memorizing puzzle. Anyways. Alright, uh... Anyways, you go up, see this... ...stuff. I can't really explain it. You have to keep an eye on the wall and how many Emmys there are in the place. So that's two, and it's blue. There's three, and then go right. One, and go left. Anyways, you do all that and stuff, and here we go. Here's the puzzle solution. Blue. Green. Red, then white. Puzzle solved. Because I'm good at that puzzle stuff. Not really. I just had a cheat sheet because I knew what to do. I wrote, all th I wrote nights like that down on a bunch of games, so so if I have if I ever get stuck on them in the next playthrough, they're there. Anyways, let's continue on. Uh, after uh, saving. Yeah, after saving. I also thought, what are the point of these mirrors? Can someone tell me what they are? I mean, they're just there. Anyways, let's go up. Oh, what's Sweetheart up to now? How long is this going to take? I don't have all day. My work takes patience. Stop talking, darling. I need to concentrate. How about now? Almost done, darling. <coughs> Sorry. And finished. At last. My greatest invention is complete. Now speak. Speak, my beautiful robot. Beautiful. Oh. Well, that doesn't seem right. Something must be off with the code. Just because you made me rush my work. Instead of to, instead of to love, it must now be programmed to kill. Don't blame it on me. She's your robot. Thanks to you, my hopes in finding true love have been shattered. You've disappointed me greatly. I'm storming off. My, what a handful. She's not my problem now.
I almost forgot that girl. She owes me payment. And I also forgot how to turn to turn Steam notifications off because they're blocking half the screen. Anyway, there we go. I must catch her again before she leaves. And with that, the uh, hold on. There we go. Now it's locked. Let's go to the right side now. This is probably the most bizarre area in the game. I'm not really a huge fan of it too, to be honest, but yeah. Doesn't matter. Wham. Oh yeah. Okay. Made on a close up. It's a self it's a self destruct kind of enemy. Uh, I hate those. Anyways, there's a watermelon over here which has a fish taco inside. Hey, check this out. Did you know us Humphreys kind of strong enough to withstand the waterfall's current? Watch this. Yikes. Except for that guy, I guess. Oh well, that's just natural selection working. Hey, you know what? I just had an idea. Maybe if we gather enough Humphreys, then maybe we can use them to force a bridge to the other side. I was supposed to say that. And yes. Oh, hey, again. Let's have another picket. I read the gelatin is delicious. What's it made out of? I'm not sure, Cal. I've been scooping it off the walls and the floor. Do you like it? You... what? Eh, just kidding. I made it by mixing fruit. And, uh, gelatin. Oh, okay, yeah, but... What's gelatin made out of? Well, Cal, gelatin. Gelatin is made out of gelatin. I see. Well, whatever. Food is food, I guess. Hmm. All right, picnic basket, and uh, we're gonna call that an episode. There's a lot of puzzle solving in this one, and this place has some surprises to it. Anyways, uh, that's all the time I have. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff, and uh, yeah. See ya.